question number 17. Let's just move this a little bit so you can see the question number. Okay, and we've got three positive integers. A is the biggest one, B is the medium sized one, and C is the smallest, and none of them are the same because they are strict inequalities. Now, we're told A is the largest number, and it's got the digits A, B, C. K is the smallest number, and which has got A, B, C, and they're both three digit numbers. Well, the key to this question is really tricky, um, but the key to this question is if I took something like the number 342 to start with, well, uh, well that can't be true in all K because uh, 3 is smaller than 4, we need the first digit to be biggest, and it certainly can't be K because A would have to be the smallest digit in here. But it's just an example. This, the number 300, is basically... 3 times 100 plus 4 times 10, 4 tens, plus 2 units. Now, you may say to me, well, why are you telling me that? That's something I did at primary school. So why is that 342 helpful? Because we're, well, we can use this idea with algebra. So if we know n is the biggest number, I know that the number capital N is equal to a has got to be the biggest number, so if it's the biggest three-digit number, A has got to be a form. So it's going to be 100 times the digit A, which is like our 3 times 100 here. If B is the middle number, and remember, we've got to take, in this order, we've got to take B as the second number to get the biggest, largest three-digit number for N, that means that B is going to be multiplied, it's going to be in our tens position, or 10B, and C is going to be in our units position, like the 2 in this case, 2 times 1. Uh, so it's going to be C times 1, which is just C. So we've got an expression for N. If we do the same thing with K, but think of the other way around, we need, if it's the smallest three-digit number, then we need to have the smallest digit in the hundreds position. So that's going to be 100C. If we've got B, if it's the smallest three digit, the middle, the middle digit has got to be the middle size number, so it's going to be B, so it's 10B again. That hasn't changed, and that's important when we come to it in a second. So these two are the same. And if K is the smallest three digit number, we want the biggest digit, the A, it's got to be in the units column, so we have everything in the end. Well, we're asked to find the difference. So we're asked to algebraically prove the difference between these. So if we just do a big subtraction, 100a take off this a is going to give us 99a. 10b minus 10b is going to give us nothing, and they cancel out. Again, that's important. And then c minus 100c is going to give us 90 minus 99c. And some of you will spot it. What we can do here is we can take out 99 a minus C, and therefore we prove, so this, the difference between N and K is always of a multiple, so this uh, number here, the whole thing, is always A multiple of 99, this is 99 times something, so that's the algebra proof. This follow-up question says, if A is bigger than B, and B is the same size as C, will the difference between A and K still be a multiple of 99? Justify your answer. Well, there's two ways to go about it. There's one way to kind of think logically. Like, B had no impact in this, okay? So B's got no impact. Therefore, the difference between them, B is never going to have a difference. So even if B is the same as something, then when you take it away, then you're going to get, you're still going to get this multiple of 99, so even if they're the same. The other way to think about it is a quick algebra way. If we know that B and C are the same, we're going to get 100A, and instead of 10B plus C, well, B and C are the same, so that's plus, these two can combine here to give us plus 11, well, let's just use B, but it could be C, because they're the same. If we take the number k in that situation, we're going to get we're going to get the 
C's and the B's are going to combine together. Let's use the letter B again. So we're going to get 110 uh, B plus um, what we're going to get. Uh, well, we're just going to get the A, aren't we? The single A answer. So now, let me find the difference. Let's see if it's still a multiple of 99. Let's do 100 A uh, minus A is still 99A and 11B minus 110 is still 99B or we could say C and if you look that is exactly the same expression 99 factorised A minus C it doesn't matter this oh not actually C it's B but it doesn't matter because we know that B and C are the same so still multiple of 99 and then we're done.